Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 7th to the 16th, 2022 reading for you, money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Libra. So we have the magician, which just flew right out. So there's a certain magic about us. And we have the Hierophant. So during this time, we need to really let ourselves shine, let ourselves move forward and let our magic, our instincts really, really kick in. There's a sense of not necessarily going against the grain during this time. This is really embracing the institution, the, the established way, and seeing that we're finding our own way forward within that establishment, within that like preconceived notion or in within that pathway forward. So we're not, we're not totally changing the wheel. What we're going to find is really great ways for what is already established to work for us. And we're going to be thinking outside of the box, but we're also going to be highly, highly productive and highly driven during this time. So that's going to be a really great thing for us, Libra. The Hierophant is also Taurus energy. So let's look at the energy we have to be mindful of. And this is the Lovers. This is Gemini energy. What we also have to be mindful of is lust taking over and thinking, oh my gosh, I love it when it's just something that is exciting in the moment, but doesn't have the substance to move forward. So just really being aware of that is going to be very important for us during this time. There's also a sense of somebody playing off of like they know what we love, they know what we want type of thing. And they're going to it's kind of like a pitch. I'm really hearing like it's almost like a sales pitch to you. And it's like, okay, but it's going to be just like this. And they're not able to deliver on what they're saying. So be very, very mindful of that. I just hear this kind of this person like seeing you being able to sum you up really, really well. And then Libra, they're going to say, oh, well, it's this and this and this. And it's not going to be but we're going to be so in love with the idea that they presented that we're really going to want it to be that way. So just be aware of that during this time because yeah, it's going to be disappointing. Our chakra energy is one of my favorite cards. This is the root chakra. It's holistic health. This is embracing our health. This is also embracing who we holistically are, who we truly, you know, positively are. And as we're embracing this within us, we are feeling more empowered, more emboldened. We're also listening to our bodies more, really seeing what we need, really seeing what we want as we're moving forward. So let's go deeper. So we have the King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We have the Nine of Pentacles, which is really quite beautiful. 
and we have the Ten of Wands. So what we're starting off here is there's a sense really of looking at what we love, but also very much being kind of our own bosses during this time or a real sense of this is what I'm passionate about. This is what I want. This is what I need. We're going to be more drawn to the gentler side of things. So when people are saying like, why aren't you a pit bull? Like, you know, why aren't you going after this? Why aren't you latching onto it type of thing? If people are more aggressive in this way, and of course, using the dog as the example, isn't the best way to do it. But here, there is this sense of if you're not going after it, if you're not, you know, aggressive enough, you're not going to make it. And that's just not going to be the case. It's kind of like we need to to distance ourselves from that sort of attitude during this time and really embrace kind of a gentler, quieter way of doing things. We're also going to find somebody who does come across, they have a very rough exterior. They do. They come across like, like somebody who would be very aggressive or very quick to anger. But there's a real gentleness. There's a real caring to them. And what it is is they've, they've kind of built up a wall. So this is a person who people don't really get to see their vulnerable side. We're going to see that vulnerable side during this time. And for us, it's going to be very liberating because it's going to be like, oh, this person, <coughs> excuse me, is connecting with my heart. Like this person is, is seeing the bigger picture. And that's going to be important because... They're carrying a lot on their shoulders. That's what's made them kind of gruff. And we're also carrying a lot on all our shoulders. We're, again, we're not going totally against the grain during this time. This is a more traditional path when we have the Hierophant come forward. And the Hierophant is also, you know, the major kind of marriage card. So it's something that we're very dedicated to, kind of making this work, moving forward in maybe a more traditional way or a more established way. But what we have to be very aware of is that because we're going to be kind of blessed with being able to see the nuances of things and being able to read between the lines of things, the Ten of, of Wands is very much this energy of I'm going to put it all on my shoulders and don't worry, I can do this and oh, don't worry, I can handle that. We're going to want to be a bit more free, a bit more expressive, a bit more like able to, to choose what we want to do. So if we keep on piling things on our shoulders because we know we can do it right that's going to take away from the energy of this time of being able to really letting our magic show being able to to be bright and to you know look at things differently and to you know really follow a spark fo forward because it's going to be like oh i can see it other people can't see it and that's really going to it's really going to bother people during this time because they're going to be like oh well i have the rule book and it seems like you've already memorized the rule book right and and kind of thrown it out the window but you're still going down paths that people are like well yeah that's been done before or yes that's that's the way it needs to go so it's there's somebody here who's going to get very frustrated with that so just be mindful of it we then have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, prosperity and success, a real sense of celebrating the moments because yes, there's more hard work to come, but if we don't celebrate the moments, we're, we're going to feel overwhelmed. And that's something that we are really going to struggle with during this time, being able to release a lot of what has overwhelmed us, a lot of what has held us back. Also be mindful of your money, spend it wisely, spend it on, you know, if we can, of course, higher quality things or, you know, don't spend at all. This is going to be a time where somebody's like, oh, but it's only this, it's only that. And we're going to have to make bigger decisions and be like, well, no, that doesn't make sense. Or nope, that's that's not what I'm doing kind of thing. So be mindful because it's not going to be a lot of money that they're wanting to go out, go out, go out. But if you added it up, it would be it would be a substantial sum. So just be aware of this during this time. When the cards stick to my hands and like they don't fall, that's what spirit says. Okay, you know, stop shuffling. Okay. So here we have the magician again. I love that symmetry coming in. We have the three of wands, new avenues opening up. We have the ten of wands again. That's why it's coming up as such a struggle that, you know, it's kind of like, I can do it. I know I can do it well, so I'm just going to put it on my plate. That's going to be the thing here that we really have to be mindful of because there, there is just such a, a sense of, well, yeah, again, I can do it. I can do it well, but 
I'm overloaded, but it's overwhelming. And we're going to have a tendency to do this at work, right? Because we're talking about money and career, but we're also going to have a tendency to do this at home. We want to keep the peace. We want to keep things balanced. We want to keep things harmonized. So just be aware of this during this time. We also have the lovers here. So we have to be mindful of the lovers, but we also have something very passionate, very beautiful coming up. So we do have to be mindful of the corruption of the lovers coming forward. Now, again, this is Gemini energy, and this is a real sense of of really being in love with what we do, with the bigger picture of what we're going after, of what's important to us, of, you know, where it is that we want to be. And as we're falling in love with these ideas, we're falling in love with ourselves, we're seeing ourselves more, there's a passion, a spark that's coming back to what we do. And it's also just coming back to us for so many of us. This has been such a trying time. And yes, with the state of the world and everything that's going on, it's still a trying time, but we've lost that spark. Here with the magician coming through twice, we're getting that spark back. We're really starting to connect with ourselves, with what we want, but we're starting to see that magic come forward. We have an intuition. We have a way of seeing things that puts the pieces of the puzzle together so much more easily than it, they were going together before. And it's like, it's like an insight. It's just, it's just people are going to say, how do you do it? You're not going to be able to define it, Libra. You're just going to be able to do it and you can just do it. So here, let that magic shine. Let that spark shine. Don't let somebody played against you because that's what they're going to want to do. They're going to want to say, oh, well, you know, you have to doubt yourself because how do you really know that you're doing this right or you're doing that right? Just know that the doors are opening with the three of wands. There's something here within the work environment. There's something that's going to happen three times. And when it happens three times, we have to kind of step back and reevaluate. For some of us, it's going to be something where it's like, I can't believe this is happening again. You know, what the heck? I thought we solved this type of, of sentimentality coming forward. And for others of us, it's going to be three blessings that come forward. So just being really aware of it because the, the repeat of the three, I just see it happening three times. Yeah. And it's like, it's almost like three knocks on the door that are telling us to take that path, take that path, look that way. And it's not going to be something that we necessarily wanted to do or we thought we should even look that way. So just be very aware of this during this time. But it opens up new doors. It opens up new horizons. Again, we just have to be mindful of how much we put on our plate. It's going to be quality over quantity during this time. And also not feeling like, oh, I just have to smooth everything over, smooth everything over for everyone. So really being aware of that. So let's look and go just a little bit deeper. So we have the sun, which is absolutely brilliant, and we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is the darkness before the dawn. This is very much taking up all the information that we have gathered. And there's also going to be a sense like a kick in the teeth happened during this time. And it can be with the person because we've reached an end of a cycle when it comes to our creativity. It's like we're, we've completed that cycle. Now we're finding a new cycle to move forward. But as that cycle was completed, we're seeing things in a new light and in a new way. And here we're cr we've come to the end of the cycle creatively, intellectually, when it comes to our mind, when it comes to our language, when it comes to what we're seeing, what we're saying. So being very aware of that is going to be very empowering for us because as we rise, we are now armed with the 10 swords that they thought toppled us. They thought destroyed us. But no, we're coming through with the happiest card in the whole entire deck, with a fire, with a passion, with a beauty, with an intensity that radiates from us. Not only do we have the magic here, not only do we have that that shine, that insight, that, that ability to kind of like reach into the ether and pull the strands together, but now we have that radiance shining within us. So that's going to cause jealousy. Just be aware of that, especially since everybody wants to be the one being praised, wants to be the big cheese sort of thing. So being aware of that jealousy and being able just to say, nope, I'm I'm really connecting with what I love. I'm moving forward with this passion and what I desire. That's going to be the game changer here. The subconscious message we have to be mindful of energy we have to be mindful of is the Lord is people saying it has to be like this because I'm the boss, because this is the way it needs to be being bullied by somebody who who thinks that they can just kind of lord it over us they're just going to kind of billow over us i don't know for for somebody it's coming through like this person has very broad shoulders and just has a way of towering over you be very mindful of that physical intimidation it doesn't mean that this person is actually you know higher up in the hierarchy of things but they're going to have that physical intimidation that we just have to be aware of and stand your ground seriously 
it moves us to our chakra energy, which is personal power. This is the solar plexus chakra. This is embracing our instincts and our desires. This is finding that we're more empowered, we're more emboldened than we thought we were. And we're really starting to shine. We're really starting to say, yeah, this is what I want. You know, this is where I need to be. It moves us then to our tarot subconscious message. And here we have the moon, which is Pisces energy. We have a sense of that which is hidden being revealed. And the shadows, that which scared us, that which was overwhelming, now we're starting to see the instincts of it. Now we're starting to see the outline of things. And it's like, oh, that's what that meant. Or, oh, that's how I'm putting it together. And it's becoming much more reassuring for us, much more positive. It moves us then to the Two of Cups, the Minor Arcana Lovers card. This is a sense of healing and love and unity coming together. We need that. As Libras, we need that balance. And we need that balance of emotional energy. And as that balance comes forward, we are empowered. We are emboldened. So, you know, when people say, oh, just toughen up, you know, don't feel things so much. No, we're Libras. We have to feel things or else it's it's just not correct. So don't listen to everyone when they're just like stiff upper lip, you know, type of thing. Then we have the Tower. Things have changed. They have changed quite dramatically and being aware of that change, noticing and honoring that change, but knowing that things have fallen so that we can rise again. It's almost like we were locked in a tower and that tower, though it could have been beautiful, was a gilded cage. And now we're released from it. Divinity has pushed us out of our comfort zone and we're going to see what becomes of it. And we're becoming stronger and more emboldened because of it. We then have the king of pentacles this is prosperity and success and authority within our careers within what we want and there's a real sense here of a person who who handles the money who has a really great business sense they're going to be a person that we find a lot of inspiration from but we're also going to be kind of modeling ourselves after that after that you know kind of grounded stable you know steady energy to move forward in and that's going to be really important for us during this time okay all right, Libra, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and the intensity of this time, but also of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.